Hello everyone, it's Sapling from Crow Overwatch back again with the updated tier list for Season 2. This time we'll be looking at how the hotfix has affected the top 500 tier list since the start of the season, what we can expect moving towards the mid-season patch, and where Ramatra might place with his competitive release. The prerequisite condition for this tier list is that Ramatra is not meta-defining. If Ramatra turns out to be extremely powerful, the tier list can't be used as a predictor to the next meta. The reason being, a meta-defining hero by definition can force some hero picks to be better than others. An example being when Lucio and Moira had to be played as a support line during the double shield meta. But I personally find that the probability of Ramatra being a meta defining tank is fairly low. While preparing for some of our new videos, we've been receiving feedback from pro players and the general consensus is that he's not an overpowered hero like Kiriko and Sojin. It's more likely that Ramatra will be in a similar state to the current Junker Queen. By the way, thanks to Finn from San Francisco Shock for participating in our survey and to give you guys a sneak peek of a future video, this is what Finn had to say. With the new buffs, Ramatra could almost reach A tier, but he isn't completely broken like how new heroes usually are. With the new hotfix system in place, which allows values to be tweaked on the fly, we can't completely predict when the next patch or hotfix will be. Considering Blizzard's workflow and patch history, we can at the minimum expect to see no changes for the next two weeks. In other words, if Ramatra does not affect the meta much, the lifespan of this tier list could last fairly long. So let's start off with the tanks. With no tanks in S tier, it's important to note Orisa. She's already seen the effects from the recent buffs. With Orisa acting as potential counters to Hawk and Diva, she's seeing a massive increase in usage, almost doubling in score from the original Season 2 patch, and is expected to continue increasing in the following weeks. As a result, we can see the decrease in usage for Hawk and Diva, respectively. Now for Hawk, who has been a headache for a while now, has decreased in overall pick rate, but as an indirect result from the hotfix, Ana's anti and Arisa's buffs being the primary reasons. But if Ramatra turns out to be stronger than expected, we can also expect a resurgence of Hog as a counterpick. As for Doomfist, who has been indisputably dominant previously, it's a little bit more difficult to predict the effects of the hotfix directly through the data. Because he was so dominant like Season 1 Zarya, many top 500 players have already accumulated a substantial amount of playtime on the hero, but that doesn't mean we can't extract any information at all. Like Zarya in Season 1, we can see that the count of the most played hero stat is going down, and it's very likely it will go lower with time, so I can't recommend anyone pick up Doomfist at the moment. Outside these three tanks, the most notable are Winston and Wrecking Ball. This is the first time since Overwatch 2's release that Wrecking Ball's total score has broken 100, and Winston is still a great tank, but has increased in difficulty with the presence of Roadhog and Ana's new buffs. For the supports, Kiriko has not budged an inch in S tier like predicted, but despite the nerf from the hotfix, has actually increased in total score. At this point, it's almost becoming a crime not to know how to play her. Regardless of rank, she's currently a must pick on the team if you want to climb. It might look like the buff for Ana has not had much effect, but she's always been a popular hero and a pocket pick for support players, so it's hard to tell the difference directly looking at the data. The main supports Lucio and Mercy haven't changed much either but it's also looking like Ana Kiriko is becoming a viable support line as well, which would mean that their play rate and score might go down in the coming weeks with the revival of a flex support meta. Out of the three roles, supports seem to have the worst balance. They have the smallest available hero pool, Zenyatta and Bap essentially have been forgotten about in the patches, and Brig and Moira are being mentioned for a potential rework. Lastly, let's look at the chaos that's DPS. Surprisingly, the nerfs to Sojourn have been meaningless in respect to the top 500 meta, and both the total score and most played count have visibly increased. The surprising thing here is where these points came from. It's not just from Tracer's score, she sucked out the numbers from all the other hitscan and main DPS. She still needs more freaking nerfs. Tracer's situation is almost identical to Doomfist. There doesn't seem to be much change at first glance, but the most played count has visibly decreased and the effects of the hotfix are slowly coming in. The indirect nerf from Buffalo buffing Ana, which allows Tracer to be two-shot is the most likely cause. As for off-meta picks, Echo and Symmetra 
might be good to keep an eye on. In the current situation where other off-meta picks have gotten worse, the two heroes most played counts have increased. It's possibly an effect from the changes in the tank meta, and considering the fact that the most played count is still very, very low, they're most likely very situational picks. That was all for the post hotfix tier list, and all we have to watch out for now is whether Ramatra can break the current ecosystem. Hopefully this helped, and I'll be looking forward to seeing your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time.